Now that we have a pretty strong understanding of the visual information that you can see for an IELTS writing task one question, it's time to piece that together with the written question. And then we can see some whole question examples from previous IELTS writing task one questions. By seeing these whole questions, you're going to have a better understanding of what kind of questions you might also have to answer in your IELTS writing test. Let's jump right into taking a look at the written question statement. And here is an example question. Let's read this through now. The chart shows student expenditure over a three-year period in the United Kingdom. Summarise the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. So, the questions for IELTS Writing Task 1 are pretty much always split into two sentences. Sentence one is our topic sentence, and it's a really important part of the question. The topic sentence given here in blue really gives us a good idea about what the question is asking, what the visual information is, and also what kind of data would be in the visual information. So the topic sentence is really important for us to understand what our question really is. Here it says the chart shows. So even without seeing the visual information, I know that I'm not going to have to discuss a table or a process diagram. It looks like we're discussing student expenditure over a time period or three year period and it's in one country, the United Kingdom. So even though I don't have this bar chart, line chart, or what other piece of visual information it is, I can really begin to understand what I need to describe. The second sentence is the question sentence, and this is the same for pretty much every task one question. It will look almost exactly like this. The real important part of the question statement is your topic sentence. So now that we've taken a deeper look at the written question statement for task one, let's piece everything together and see some examples with the visual information too. And we will start with the question we have just seen. Let's just read one more time. The chart shows student expenditure over a three year period in the United Kingdom. Summarise the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. So to the left, I can see the visual information and it's a bar chart of sorts. Now, let's take a look at the title. Student expenditure, aged under 26 in higher education, United Kingdom. And to the right, I can see the key. So although a three-year period, we're actually only looking at two years. I can compare these two years quite easily. Then we have the data stored here from accommodation to children to expenditures, entertainment and other. And at the bottom, we have percentage of total expenditure. So that gives us a really good start. We've taken a look at the visual information and we know that we need to describe the main features and trends in the visual information given to us. Let's move on to another example question. 
The graph below shows the population levels of species of turtles in millions from 1980 to 2012 in India. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. So in this example, I have a line chart or a line graph and we're recording a few different kinds of data. Of course, my job is to report the main features, not everything, or to be honest, my report would be far too long. So check the title first, Population of Turtles in India from 1980 to 2012. And to the bottom is the key, so the types of turtle species that were recorded. Here we have the correlating data from the key and we have how we are measuring this. And underneath we have the dates too. So just pulling apart the visual information and thinking about how we can see this data and then answer the question. Let's take a look at our final example question. The information below shows modes of transport and reasons for car use in Edmonton. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Now, I'm sure that you have noticed that in this example question, which was taken from a previous IELTS test, we can see two kinds of visual information. So we have the title, which is for our bottom table. And of course we have the pie chart, and of course we have our table. The pie chart is showing us modes of transport. So if you look at the topic sentence, the pie chart gives us the modes of transport. And the table below gives us reasons for car use. Now it's fairly common that in a question you might be given two or possibly even three types of visual information to describe and compare. But that doesn't mean you have to write any more. Realistically, you know, you won't score more marks for writing a lot more than 150 words. Just make sure you can clear 150 words. So another example question with mixed visual information. Now let's complete a short quiz to test your understanding. Here we have some visual information, a bar chart showing some data for an IELTS writing task one question. Now you need to match this visual information from the correct question statement. So please do pause the video and read through these three task one question statements then I want you to correctly match the visual information with the correct question statement. Pause the video now and read through all three question examples. Hello and welcome back. I hope you read through the question statements carefully. Okay, the answer is in fact the bottom question example. Let's read the topic sentence in this question. The chart shows the results of a survey reviewing work performance in a company and that very much matches up with the data that we can see. So well done if you got that right. So that brings us to the end of this question example lesson for IELTS writing task one. See you in the next lesson.